All right, I wanted to hop on here. Today is, what to say? I think it's like March 14th, 2022. So today is the last Monday of a cardiology rotation ever in residency. And today was quite interessante. So this morning, met up with my attending, did some outpatient clinic, um, you know, talked about like primary prevention for like, actually not really primary. These were all like secondary. These people came in because they had like either heart attacks already needed to be like placed on lifelong statins, aspirin, yada, yada. Um, so it was just clinic stuff, dealing with hypertension, dealing with, you know, setting up outpatient stress test. Another patient that was quite interesting was this 49 year old who came in because he had these multifocal strokes. Um, they did an echo, found that he had a PFO, so he was coming in for like PFO, um, clearance for surgery and stuff so that was pretty interesting to see like the device that they put in the defect and such and hopefully that will prevent him from developing recurrent strokes and not having you know anything like debilitating so in the afternoon they went to a cath lab this guy was coming down from the ICU. He was in like septic shock. Um, he was on four pressers, intubated and sedated, of course. He's in septic shock, secondary to Fournier's gang gangrene, um, which that needs or needs to be debrided. But then turns out to have a STEMI, so had to be rushed onto the cath lab. Um, even though he was on like four pressers, blood pressure systolically is still like tethering. It's like in the 80s, 90s. So my attending had to put a impella machine, um, which is like an intraventricular pump that basically takes the blood from the ventricles out through the aorta while he was doing the PIC. So it was quite interesting, you know, once the impella got placed, then, you know, they do the contrast to see which um, coronary artery was like stenosed, found out that the RCA was stenosed. And so they put a stent in um during the procedure patient went into a sustained VTAC so they had to shock the patient honestly this is why I'm doing outpatient because even though I wasn't even scrubbed into this procedure like it's definitely above my internal medicine like training so that's definitely something I was not a part of but just on the sidelines that was intense like that was intense but it was successful and I'm really hoping that, you know, he can get fully debrided and the antibiotics kick in and he can get off pressers and hopefully survive this. But that was, that was interesting. What a Monday. What a Monday. All right, let's go home. <laughs> So since I'm out relatively early, it's about 2.55, I'm gonna do a quick target run. So I had a thought, you know sometimes we struggle with like figuring out what our purpose is. Today when I was watching my attending quite literally save this man's life, not really sure about you know the overall outcome as yet because he's this guy is in pretty bad condition but in that moment like I could see that you know this was his purpose this was my this was my attendee's purpose to be here in this moment all the years of training all of the sleepless nights all the long nights all the call 
was so that in a moment that someone is in crisis or in critical need, like he is there, he was there and able to intervene. Like his purpose was able to be fulfilled. And I thought that was such a beautiful thing. So even for me, there was a lot of times during residency where I was struggling to find purpose and just felt really inspired today just to see like God working through somebody and fulfilling purpose and I thought that was pretty like amazing okay just arrived at Target I'm looking for a mask all right, let's see what foolishness I end up getting, but... I stuck to the assignment and only got the two items I wanted. I got my robe. I got some lashes. Yeah. I genuinely love an early day. So I get to run errands and it's just always nice, right? Outside of all this mail, let's do a quick. Really not sure what happened to my footage, but I think my phone is tired of me trying to do this vlog thing. But this is the robe that I got from Target and I love it. I ordered some stuff from Zara. You know, it gets a little cold sometimes. It was in the 40s, 50s the other day. Outside of that, um, I just wanted like a cute tracksuit to wear. I'm like a very chill girl. Hopefully this fits nicely. I just got some cream joggers and the matching. All right, let's start with this skincare. I'm definitely a Tatcha girl. This under eye cream has definitely helped a lot with my bags i feel like it's definitely something worth investing in this definitely helped me not look as tired even though people still be playing me talking about oh you look tired today after i definitely had like 10 hours of sleep very very, very stuck Tatcha with the sunscreen and the moisturizer. All excellent products. So I'm kind of looking forward to today. You know, yesterday was pretty nice. In the morning, it was kind of more like shadow work. Um, I kind of felt like a med student again, but honestly, sometimes it is nice to just be able to sit back, um, solidify management, you know, especially like with a specialist there who is like reinforcing these things with the patients. It's the same thing that I will have to do also. So it was a lot of learning yesterday. And like I had mentioned, I saw that really cool um, revascularization case. The guy who had the STEMI and had that serious infection. Um, so this entire week, my attending is doing clinic in the morning and cath lab in the afternoon. Um, let's see what happens today. I don't know if he's gonna find another attending for me to work with in the afternoons or not, or if he's just gonna allow me to tag along all right let's get some coffee in our system i woke up kind of late because i wanted to be i wanted to stay dream daydreaming for a little bit 
<laughs> no, I can't make breakfast. You know, daydreaming or eating, and I guess I chose daydreaming. <laughs> Let's attempt to slick these baby hairs down. I'm so excited that residency is coming to an end. I understand like, you know, being out in the real world is gonna have its own challenges and stresses and all that, but at least you're like respected more and like, you know, you have full autonomy of your patients and well, in the outpatient setting, like I have my weekends, like two days off. And I got holidays. Hair down or up? I think I'm gonna go with hair in a ponytail. Today keeps things out of the way. Is it 737? All right, so the rundown for today is I need to do a bunch of things. So, gotta go to work whenever that's done. After work, we're going to get a quick workout in, going to probably straighten up the apartment and study. We're going to study and we're going to get our QI project done, okay? you guys a little gist on you know what I take to work so I bring this little pouch it has my like laptop charger in it and it has my phone charger as well how much time do I have okay I'll be okay 